scratch the nine. Fox Valley Spender is scratched. Post time in less than four minutes, folks. Less than four minutes here on race two at DuCoin. Speed the starters. Number one, Copes Gal is owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas, trained and driven by co-owner Jerry Logan. Number two is Fox Valley Quan, owned by Lynn and Barbara Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana, by Brett Wilfong of Donovan, Illinois, trained and driven by Brett Wilfong. Number three, Lil Black Porsche, owned by Kathy Rutherford and Tim Buskert of Justice, Illinois, just off the Tri-State Tollway in the Chicago area, trained by Kathy Rutherford, and Kathy is the driver. Number four is Fox Valley Ronda, owned by South of the Tracks Racing of Edwards, Illinois, of Dr. William G. Hunter, Mark and Diana Hunter, trained by Brett Ballinger, Ron Marsh in the bike. Number five is Ms. Caitlin, owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Roy Finn, the driver, Fremont, Michigan's Michael Osting. Number six, It's a Sweet Deal, is owned by Ron and Carol Cox of Huntsville, trained by Ron Cox, Matt Cox, scheduled to drive. Number seven, Heather Hattie, owned, trained, and driven by Dirk Simpson of Springfield. Number eight is L.B. Wendy, owned by Kenneth Buck of Denison, Iowa, trained by Rick Schrock. The driver is Dave McGee. Number nine, Fox Valley Spender is scratched. The ten is Strong Kiss, least trained and driven by Dave Brown of Harrisburg. Here they come. L.B. Wendy made a break. The rest are off and trotting. Fox Valley Ronda grabs the racetrack and goes right for the lead. It's a sweet deal, comes away second. Fox Valley Quan is right there toward her inside and now takes the second spot into the first turn. Fox Valley Ronda will lead it by two lengths to Fox Valley Quan. Another two lengths back to It's a Sweet Deal in third. Heather Hattie is fourth. Lil Black Porsche is fifth. Miss Caitlin is racing sixth. Copes Gal is seventh. Strong Kiss is eighth. And a long way back over 25 more lengths to L.B. Wendy, who's last after breaking breaking stride. 30 and two-fifths the time for the opening quarter. Fox Valley Ronda leading Fox Valley Quan by a length up the back stretch. Gap of two more to It's a Sweet Deal in third. Tracked closely by Heather Hattie. Then a gap of seven more lengths to Lil Black Porsche, followed by Ms. Caitlin, Copes Gal, and Strong Kiss with L.B. Wendy still the distant trailer. At the half, Fox Valley Ronda setting the tempo, leading it by one length. Fox Valley Quan second by two lengths to It's a Sweet Deal, and Heather Hattie is racing in fourth. It's a margin of 10 more lengths now to Lil Black Porsche after a half in 101 and three-fifths. Fox Valley Ronda leads it by a length at the entry to the far turn. Fox Valley Quan is second a length and a half, and then it's a sweet deal. Third, followed by Heather Hattie in fourth, a margin of a dozen lengths more to Lil Black Porsche and Ms. Caitlin. Midway on the final turn, Fox Valley Ronda has the lead by two and a half lengths. Fox Valley Quan is second by the same margin, back to it's a sweet deal and Heather Hattie. The rest have a lot of ground to make up. The three-quarter was timed in one minute, 32 and two-fifth seconds. Fox Valley Ronda leads it a length and a half, turning for home to Fox Valley Quan. It's a sweet deal, Heather Hattie, and a gap of a dozen more lengths to Copes Gal and Ms. Caitlin. Fox Valley Ronda at the eighth pole is chased by Fox Valley Quan, still a length between those two, and it's a sweet deal, is racing in third. Fox Valley Ronda hanging tough with a two-length lead to Fox Valley Quan, then it's a sweet deal. Fox Valley Ronda coming to the line in front. Fox Valley Ronda hangs on by diminishing half length. Fox Valley Quan was second. It's a sweet deal was third in 203 flat. Off of the tracks racing of Edwards, Illinois, of Dr. William G. Hunter and Mark and Diana Hunter, bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads in Sherman, Illinois, by their stallion Metal Branch jersey. We told you this filly comes from the same maternal family as the filly who won the very first open division of the World Trotting Derby Panty Raid. This filly was a $4,500 yearling purchase last year. Folks, how about a hand? Ron Marsh driving. Number four, Fox Valley Ronda. The 9-4 daily double, $39.40. We'll have the exacta for you in just a moment. Mr. Sam Lilly who publishes Illinois Standard Bread with Mid-America Harness News through his Resource Development Press 
and who is also a harness horse owner who's been in the winter circle at DuCoin as an owner, is making the presentation of the blanket for this second race. talk to our winning connections for the second race at DuCoin. Ron Marsh, let's start with you. This Philly Fox Valley Ronda, you had a shot to drive her at Springfield. She got beat less than a length in her elimination of the two-year-old Philly trot. Pretty fast final. This was a good spot for her tonight, wasn't it? Sure was, yeah. She's a nice Philly. I, I qualified for him, uh, raced, baby racer up to, uh, uptown and uh, showed me that she had some potential there. Come down to Springfield in her elimination, she was really good, and then they went a blistering mile in the final. So she's a nice Philly. She, she'll do, and uh, you got to be happy with her today. Dr. William G. Hunter, you are the managing partner for South of the Tracks Racing. Doc, you're fairly new to the harness horse business. Partnerships sometimes are a good way to get involved. So for people in the stands who may be interested in buying a horse, would you recommend maybe a partnership, a good way for them to get started? What, what, whatever it takes. You know, I'm not absolutely sure. I mean, our partnership is a family partnership, and it's working for us. Uh, but obviously, if you pool your resources, uh, you can probably buy more horses, is what we found out. Uh, but no, I, I don't have any problem with that. I mean, I think our partnership's working, and it's great. It's working real well, because you're in the winter circle, and that makes it even better. Folks, how about another hand for our winning connections in race two? <laughs> 